Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can hide the OneDrive icon from your quick access menu. Now this method works for OneDrive for business as well as OneDrive for personal. If it's OneDrive for personal, you will see OneDrive dash personal. This is a business setup. This environment is a business setup. So that's why it is showing OneDrive dash student. Student is the tenant name of my business. So that is the name of the Microsoft 365 tenant that I have created this test environment. As you can see, I'm syncing a SharePoint site called Student Info to my local test machine. As usual, I've got my OneDrive client running on my taskbar. So once again, we are only going to hide this icon from quick access menu. This is not going to have any negative impact to your OneDrive client or to the SharePoint sites that you're syncing through OneDrive client to your local computer. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. I'm going to click start icon and start typing the word registry editor. As you start typing, you will see it's popping up in the best match. Click on registry editor. Now, if you are a standard user, you may be prompted to enter the local administrator credentials at this stage. In this machine, I am already a local administrator, so I can simply click yes. When you open up your registry editor, your view is going to look similar to what you're seeing on the screen now. Click on the HKey classes root folder and up here it will show up the path that you're currently on. Once you're there, click on the path, backslash, type the word CLSID or class ID. When you type CLSID, press enter and it will take you to that respective folder. Once you're there, right click on the class ID or CLS ID folder and click find. In here, type the word OneDrive and click find next. You may have to do this a couple of times depending on how many places you've got the word OneDrive in this folder structure. Right click on this folder again and I'm going to do another find. Click find next. There we go. This is what I was expecting to see. So as you can see, I've come to the correct spot. When you're in the correct spot, you will see all these three keys and you will see if it's OneDrive for personal, you will see OneDrive dash personal. If it's for business, you will see OneDrive dash whatever that your OneDrive tenant is with respect to your Microsoft 365 tenant. My tenant is student, so that's why you're seeing OneDrive dash student. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this key. System dot is pinned to namespace tree. The default value is 1. We're going to double click on it and we're going to change this value to 0 and click OK. That's it. And we go File, Exit. Now let's go back to my File Explorer. As you can see, the OneDrive icon is hidden now. We cannot see that. It's completely gone but OneDrive is functioning as usual without any issues. Now, one thing to remember guys, before making any changes to your register editor, always take a backup. I'll quickly show you how to take a backup as well. Uh, so open up registry editor. So do this before you start making any changes to your register editor. Click yes. Let me just go back to the view where we started with. So when you open up our registry editor for the very first time, this is how it's going to look. Before making any changes, remember to go to File and click Export and just give it a name, backup or something with the date for 
recognizing the file easily and click save. As you can see, I've already taken a backup of my registry um, editor. So I'm not going to do this, but I wanted to point this out. It's always recommended that you take a backup before you make any changes to your registry editor. I'm just going to cancel this and come out of it. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you've got any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. Have a good day.